Hello everyone, what's up? Let's talk about Jennifer Lopez's wedding party dress this time. The news was short and unexpected, but it literally made so many happy. In this video, I will talk about her 2022 wedding dress with Ben Affleck and also mention her previous wedding dresses and styles. Please stay with me and watch the video till the end. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. When I was thinking about the wedding dress, I personally anticipated something like the wedding costume from the Marry Me movie, the rich embellished puffy gown from Zohar Murad. This is literally a garment that represents Jen as a goddess. Although it was not white, however, it's such a viral style these days to see brides wear non-white wedding dresses. It's so dramatic and gives the vibe. The looks dress includes 9 layers of silk taffeta and horse hair completed with tulle as it's expected. The rose gold color of the gown catches the audience's attention and it's something different. The strapless bodice and the puffy gown go on her. Maybe the breasts hardly trying to pop up from the bodice is kinda bothering and you feel how tight the upper part dress is. But overall, the gigantic puffy gown and the trim which made it show-stopping washed it all away. The matching veil also has a good symmetry with the dress and the embroideries worked on it are stunning to the eye. When it comes to the embroidery of this look, it has to be mentioned that the flowers embellished on it are second to none. She also matched the whole wet style with a fur cape in white and brown. As much as her dress was luxurious, this cape spiced it up and gave more power to her style. I literally wish this was her actual bridal dress. Although this wedding dress with its embroideries and perfect silhouettes got viral everywhere, one has to be sure that if Jennifer wears a simple piece of white fabric, she rocks it. This video at first got viral everywhere as the news of JLo's wedding party popped up and kind of made a missing dress standing about her gown. But this is not her actual wedding dress. This outfit is actually worn for getting ready for her wedding party. The garment has a tight circular neckline and a simple silhouette. The skirt is not puffy nor is dramatic according to what is expected from Jen. I guess this is enough statement to be sure that this can't be her gown of the day. The skirt has a light tiling like pattern and overall its simplicity has been kept. She also grabbed a tote bag and matched it with her style. Although she's so beautiful herself, the makeup was not too extra and she left her hair loose. As I explained before in the previous videos, rumor has it that JLo preferred to have a big wedding party with the attendance of family and friends. She wanted it to be big and show-stopping. At the same time, Ben preferred to have a smaller ceremony with the closest ones. Well, this doesn't oppose the fact that he also wants the party to be show-stopping as well. But of course, it can be a real issue here. I personally was one of those who really was curious to see what is gonna happen. Now with all these, it's obvious that Ben won this debate. By the way, it really doesn't matter how the wedding party is going to be held. The important point is that they are together and after 20 years of getting together, separating and getting together again, they finally made it and I'm so happy talking about this subject right now. Now that I'm talking in this video, the only picture shared on media is this one. It's kinda interesting that Ben Affleck styled his groom outfit with a white suit and matched himself with the bride. As you see, the veil is a simple white tool and has embroideries at the hemline part of it. It's long enough to cover all her face and body around. Not that long to be a train, but that long to be as dramatic as is possible. And her main bedding dress is an off-shoulder long sleeves gown with embroideries. Well, this is something that is totally anticipated from JLo. 
some dramaticness and a bit of skin showing maybe a little more than a bit i wish soon they share some new photos to see the detail of the gown and an opportunity comes around to talk furtherly about her wedding style Actually, it's not her first marriage party, and now that I'm talking about her wedding dress, it's not a bad idea to have a look at her previous wedding dresses and styles. Her first wedding dress from her first marriage with Ojanino was a strappy body fitted white gown with embroidery patterns. The dress had a simple design in front and its main detail, which took its simplicity, can be the V cut out at the back. Maybe if she wore this gown in 2022, I would never believe it. But as a wedding dress to be worn by JLo in the 90s, I can say it's acceptable in such a chic minimal gown. The hairstyle also has some white flower attachments that kinda accentuated the whole style. Her second wedding party dress, which was for the marriage with Chris Judd, was kinda more shimmering than her first. She chose a flower pattern dress with a deep neckline bodice. The neckline had some curvy embroidery details and the long sleeves had a see-through feature. The skirt had a train and the veil totally matched it. Both of them were sweeping the ground and made the whole style dazzling. This time the hairstyle was kinda simpler and the concentration was more dedicated to the style. Even her bouquet was totally different one than the previous selection. Although Jennifer Lopez has been married several times and worn several wedding dresses from the movies to the real life, it's always interesting for the media, for the people, for all music lovers, fashion lovers, and even none of those categories people to see what she has worn and how did she style it. Actually, I have posted another video on the channel and comprehensively talked about the engagement rings she got from her fiancés. If you haven't watched the video, I will put it on the card section and also on the description part. As I said before, I confess that since she's such a hardworking woman, cares about her family, her body, health, and her manner has been always proved all people how a sophisticated person she is, I personally believe she is the one that deserves the best. As I said, I absolutely can't wait to see some new photos to be posted and see how her wedding dress with Ben Affleck looks like. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'd be so glad to know what is your opinion. What do you think of Jennifer's wedding dress this time? Was it the best dress ever or not? Please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to see more content like this. So, see you soon.